Bauer Manuscript, Wikipedia Article Audio The Bauer Manuscript is an early birch bark document, dated to the Gupta era. This Sanskrit language manuscript is written in the late Brahmi script, and contains some Prakrit. It is an Indian text, one of the oldest manuscripts known to have survived into the modern era, that was discovered near a ruined Buddhist monastery near Kukur in Chinese Turkestan. The manuscript is notable as a benchmark for ancient literary tradition in India and the evidence of the spread and sharing of ideas in ancient times between India, China, and Central Asia. It is also notable for preserving one of the earliest treatises on Indian medicine. Rudolf Hoernel suggested that the text of the manuscript contains excerpts of the Beta Samhita on medicine. The medical parts constitute may be based on similar types of medical writings antedating the composition of the Sahits of Karaka, Susruta, and as such rank with the earliest surviving texts on Ayurveda. Discovery and Edition Description and Dating It is today preserved as part of the collections of the Bodleian Library in Oxford. The Bauer manuscript in reality is a collection of seven distinct manuscripts, or it may be called a collective manuscript of seven parts. The Bauer manuscript is named after Hamilton Bauer, the British Army intelligence officer who obtained it from a local inhabitant in Kutcha early in 1890, while on a confidential mission for the government of British India. Bauer took the MS to Simla on his return, whence it was forwarded to Colonel James Waterhouse, the then the President of the Asiatic Society of Bengal. Waterhouse exhibited the manuscript at the monthly meeting of the Society on November 5, 5 1890. After the meeting some attempts were made to decipher the MS, but they proved unsuccessful. German Indologist George Bühler succeeded in reading and translating two leaves of the MS, reproduced in the form of heliograviers in the proceedings of the Asiatic Society of Bengal. Immediately after his return to India in February 1891, A.F.R. Hoernel began to study the MS. He presented the first decipherment two months later at the meeting of the Society in April 1891. Between 1893 and 1897 Hoernel published a complete edition of the text, featuring an annotated English translation and illustrated facsimile plates. A Sanskrit index was published in 1908, and a revised translation of the medical portions in 1909. The introduction appeared in 1912. The discovery of the Bauer manuscript caught the attentions of the outward-looking European powers, arousing further interest in the region of its discovery and proving a major stimulus in the development of the great game. Hoernel claimed that it was the discovery of the Bauer manuscript and its publication in Calcutta which started the whole modern movement of archaeological exploration of eastern Turkestan. Contents The Bauer manuscript is in fact a collation of two manuscripts, a larger and a smaller one. The larger manuscript is itself a convolute of six smaller manuscripts which are separately paginated. These seven constituent manuscripts are numbered as parts I to seven in Hoernel's edition. The text is written on 51 pages of birch bark leaves of an oblong shape, in the form of those of an Indian path. The birch bark of the large portion of the manuscript is of a quality much inferior to that of the smaller portion. The hole for the passage of the binding string is placed about the middle of the left half of the leaves. This placement of the string hole and the oblong form of the leaves point to an imitation of palm leaf pots from southern India by the scribes of Cook. The seven parts of the manuscript are written in an essentially identical script, 
the Gupta Brahmi script, which places the manuscript in the Gupta era. Hoernal placed the MS in the 4th century on grounds of paleography, but paleographical studies by Danny and especially Sanders suggest a date of about the first half of the 6th century. Hoernal distinguished four scribes who wrote parts I3, part 4, parts V and 7 and part 6, respectively. He identified the first and third of these as natives of India who had migrated to Cuck. To judge from the style of writing, the scribe of parts I, three originally came from the northern, the two scribes of parts V7 from the southern part of the northern area of the Indian Gupta script. The writer of part four may have been a native of eastern Turkestan. The script of the Bauer MS are written is a type of late Brahmi script. There is an influence of Prakrit, which is far more pronounced in the more popular treatises on divination and incantation in parts 4-7 than in the more scientific medical treatises of parts I-3. The text consists of seven separate and different treatises, of which three on Ayurvedic medicine, two on divination, and two on magical incantations to prevent snake bite. The three medicinal treatises contain content that is also found in the ancient Indian text called the Karaka Samhita. Parts I to three, the three medical treatises of the collection, comprise a total of 1,323 verses and some prose. It is evident from this familiarity with metrical writing that the author of the three medical treatises was well versed in Sanskrit composition. The author of Parts 4-7 was not conversant with scholarly Sanskrit, these treatises are written, in a mixed type of language. Part I opens with a flowery description of the Himalayas, where a group of Munis reside, interested in the names and properties of medicinal plants. Mentioned by name are the following sages, Triya, Hirta, Parera, Bela, Garga, Mbavya, Susruta, Vaziha, Karla, and Kapiya. Susruta, whose curiosity is aroused by a particular plant, approaches Munikurjia, inquiring about the nature of this plant. Kurje, granting his request, tells him about the origin of the plant, which proves to be garlic, its properties and uses. The section on garlic consists of 43 verses in poetic meter. This section is also notable for mentioning the ancient Indian tradition of garlic festival, as well as a mention of sage Sushruta in Banaras. Part 2, which opens with a salutation addressed to the Tathgatas, contains, as stated by the author, the Navantaka, a standard manual. Part 3 is a fragment of a formulary, the contents of which correspond to chapters 1 to 3 of Part 2. Parts 4 and V contain two short manuals of Pakakeval, or Cubomancy, i.e., the art of foretelling a person's future by means of the cast of dice. These parts of the MS are notable due for having no relevance to medicine or healing. Part 4 is almost complete, while the manual constituting Part V is markedly more fragmentary. Hoernal thought it likely that Part V is one of the numerous recensions of the divinatory work accredited to the ancient sage Garga. Parts 6 and 7 contain two different portions of the same text, the Mamayar, Vidurje, a Buddhist dra that protects against snake bite and other evils. An important peculiarity of the Bauer MS consists of its varying attitude towards the number of the doas. In many instances it accepts the traditional number of three, Vita, Pitta, and Kapha, but in a smaller number of passages it also appears to accept blood as a doah. 